Hey everybody, Ron from Campfire Grub. Haven't done a video in a while. We are out here in the Ocala National Forest. Kevin has a new trinket that he's setting up that we're gonna give a whirl and try out. So what is it? Deer for me. It's the brand. It's outdoor pizza oven. Outdoor pizza oven. What is the game plan here with this outdoor pizza oven? So we're gonna put it together. I thought it was a lot more uh, complicated than this, but it actually came pretty well. Is this like a stone? Yeah, so it's a stone. Okay. And this is the door, which I guess that's it. Okay. There's no handle? I don't know. But it came with a nice little... Pizza pan? Yep. Or you can put like whatever you want to cook in there, I guess. We got a little chimney here. It's got a... It's got a thermostat on there or a thermometer? thermometer. Okay. And is it like on a stand or how does it hold itself up? I'm not sure. You haven't gotten that far. Haven't gone that far yet. I'm sure there's gotta be feet in here. Nope, there's gloves. So I can't burn myself. <laughs> okay, this is for the door. So it looks like it pretty much comes with a whole wide range of stuff. So does it have screws too, or? Screws. Is there like a tool? No tools. So it only came with one fire glove? I think so, yeah. Awesome, one fire glove. So we're gonna go ahead and get this put together, finish up building it, and did you buy dough at Publix? We bought frozen pizzas. Frozen pizzas, so we're gonna give it a whirl with some frozen pizzas and see how that tastes once uh, Kevin figures out how to engineer this thing together. So we found the legs here, so let's go ahead and pop these out. So this is neat that we didn't have to like screw and or install these I legs on here. I the entire thing together, but. Pretty much came pre-assembled. Now do we want to set it on the ground or are we going to cook it in the back of a truck? You think it'll fit on the tailgate tire? No, nah, it's kind of tilted. We can set it on the ground, okay. I know it's supposed to get to like 400 degrees, so. Probably should set it on the ground right here in the road. What uh, flavor of wood chips did you get? So I've never cooked with pellets before. This is the uh, Traeger Hickory. Traeger I to, Hickory? I tried to just get like the regular flavor, but those bags are bigger. They're like 20 something bucks. This is the smallest bag. The smallest bag the public's had. What have you uh, discovered here, Kevin? Uh, what are you doing? Like I said, I never used pellets before and I didn't realize how hard they are to start. So we don't have anything to start it with. So we're trying to start a fire on top of the pellets. Perfect. This is going really well. We're expert pizza cookers here. Thanks to this uh, hand sanitizer here that I have, um, we're able to. Oh, we're gonna need more hand sanitizer? All right, so we're gonna squirt some hand sanitizer on there. And it looks like a pretty good fire starter. We have positioned the pizza oven here on the ground. We have the fire going in the back. And over here has a thermostat. Uh, we wanted to get it up to about 400 degrees and right now it's about 250. Here's the little lid door. Uh, it's coming along pretty well. The Red Baron pizzas were on sale. Buy one, get one at Publix. Kevin went ahead and picked these up. And it appears that the Red Baron pizza basically is about the same size as pan here, so it should fit in nicely. And it fits. Why the pizza's cooking, we've got Goose here digging, bouncing about. <laughs> pizza has been removed. Part of it's burned. Other parts not burned. Kevin, what's the review? Um. We gotta turn it more often, we didn't really pay attention, we started talking. But uh, it's not burnt underneath, crust is kind of crunchy, good texture, but um, it does need to be cooked a little bit longer probably. So we've discovered the best method for pizza waving is to take this pizza box, wave it right there into the little intake for the air, and it appears to be working much better. It actually went up 200 degrees since we started doing this. Just doing box waving? Yep. Perfect. 
Kevin's going ahead and pulling out the pizza. Just look at that ooey gooey goodness right there of that melted cheese. So ooey gooey. All right, Kevin, so what's your review here of the uh, pizza oven and the pizza here? So we learned a couple things. The pellets in the back, that little tray, you're only gonna be able to do like one pizza or like one item. Then it kind of burns out. You can't really add pellets to it because there's nowhere for like the old pellets, the ash to fall out. So basically you fill the thing all the way to the top, put a pizza in there, it'll cook the pizza. You gotta take it out, dump it out, refill it, put it back in, and then you can start cooking something else. But um, about six minutes or six to eight minutes, you want to turn it. The first one we kind of burnt, this one turned out perfect. It's great, it's kind of, the bottom's kind of got the brownish bottom, whatever, but. Definitely like a smoky cheese flavor on there. Just pulls apart. Yeah, I think we kind of caught on to it. The next camping video we make, when we use this, we're probably gonna cook some other things. Probably do a pizza, then probably like some pork. I don't know yet. <laughs>